Trace minerals would be important for broilers because, again, uh, practical diets that they would be fed would be uh, deficient or at least marginally deficient in some trace minerals, particularly zinc, manganese, uh, copper uh, would be marginal in many diets. So they're needed for uh, optimal growth, optimal health of the birds, as well as, uh, again, structural soundness in terms of uh, uh, not having leg problems, things of that nature. Basically, we have three categories of trace minerals. Uh, the inorganic sources that have been around for many years. Uh, this would be the sulfate sources and the oxide sources. The sulfate sources are uh, uh, very weak bonded ionically to sulfate groups and uh, the metal can easily dissociate from these bonds. The oxides, uh, many of these, the metals bound so tightly that it is not released very rapidly even under acidic conditions. Then we have the organic trace minerals uh, where the trace mineral would be bound to usually uh, an amino acid, uh, a peptide, or in some cases a polysaccharide. These, the metal is uh, associated with these carbon containing compounds where it would be uh, bonded to carboxy groups or amino groups in most cases and this does uh, provide some protection uh, in terms of the metal not being uh, as easily uh, grabbing antagonists that would be present in the digestive tract. The third category would be the hydroxy trace minerals. Uh, these two have covalent bonds but rather than with carbon, uh, these bonds would be with hydroxy groups and chloride, and they'd have similar properties, the metal's bound, and it's going to be less reactive with antagonists that would be present in the gut, uh, and it would be delivering uh, more trace mineral down to the site where the minerals would be absorbed. There's recent work in broilers that would indicate that uh, uh, zinc uh, is quite a bit more bioavailable from hydroxy zinc chloride than from zinc sulfate. Uh, in the study that I'm referring to, when zinc sulfate was set at 100% relative bioavailability, it was used as a standard, uh, hydroxy zinc chloride was, I think, equal to like 160%. So it was considerably more bioavailable. Uh, same thing with copper. There's research there to indicate that the hydroxy copper chloride or tribasic copper chloride, as it's often referred to, is more bioavailable than copper sulfate. By using the uh, more bioavailable sources, uh, it would allow you certainly to meet the animal's requirement even when antagonists were present in the diet. Also, it could allow you to reduce the amount that you're supplementing to the diet, and this could have a positive effect on the environment in terms of reducing uh, the amount of copper and zinc that would be coming out in, in poultry waste in this case.